hey my lovelies welcome back to another video don't forget to hit the subscribe button comment to let me know that you were here and today as you can see by the title of this video it's going to be a maintenance slash self-care day it is a very rainy day because we're having a typhoon and we're going to go ahead and do a little self-care just to make use of the time that we have inside i usually listen to music every day and today is no different i like to have music going when i'm cleaning when i'm cooking when i'm just relaxing or editing a video so here you see that i'm going ahead to pick a playlist of a choice just so i can get the vibe right to put me in a good headspace and we're going to head to the bathroom because at first i'm going to be washing my face because i'm preparing my skin for a good little steaming later so before we get into the steaming and all of that i like to wash my hands before i wash my face and i'm going to go ahead and wash my face for at least a minute I'm going to wash my face by going in circular motions, massaging the product into my skin just so that we can get the maximum effect. So once we're done with washing our face, I like to go in with a paper towel to pat dry my face. I am not the gen most gentle person ever, but I try my very best to pat dry just to get all the water off my face. And I prefer using paper towels simply because I feel like it doesn't contaminate my skin as much as towels. As you can see here, I'm just showing you guys a pimple that I got. These days, I don't really break out that much, but for some reason, I have been experiencing some breakout. So I I'm just showing you guys that. Next, I want to go in with my callus remover. Um, my feet have not been the smoothest, and this is what I like to use because it's really strong. If you're going to be using this product, I highly suggest that you get a glove and use it with that because it can really leave your finger messed up if you don't use it correctly. I like to use pomace stone just to get that going as well. And I like to use this hair cream to get rid of hair down you know where. And once I apply that wherever I want to remove hair, I set the timer for 15 minutes. It says on the instruction 10 minutes, but I think I have more stubborn hair. So I like to go for 15 minutes. After that, this is the goat soap that I have been using. If you're not a stranger here, you already know that's my go-to soap. So we're going to go ahead once the 15 minutes is up, once I'm through scrubbing my feet and exfoliate slash wash the area where I did the hair removal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead with my shaving foam and shave them legs. Y'all know I'm 5 feet 11, so I have a lot of legs to shave. So I'm going to go ahead with the shaving foam and pro tip, ladies, if you're going to go ahead and shave, do not buy the shaving sticks in the women's section the men's section is where you want to go ahead and buy your shaving sticks i don't know if i'm the only one who noticed this but i have a much better experience when i shave using the shaving stick from the men's section so that's a little tip here so i'm going to go ahead and let the music play so that you can enjoy what's happening hope that you are loving the video so far go ahead and grab your wine and unwind with me after shaving i wash my entire body so i'm gonna go ahead now and show you guys my after shower care i love me some good coconut oil and uh, in addition to that i love me some mango butter these are my two favorite things to use i also love to use some vitamin e oil on my skin i don't have that right now but i can honestly say that using these two products are all i personally need for my skin i love the way my skin feels and this is just one of 
of the highest act of self-care and self-love so i go ahead and i usually lather my body in this and then afterwards because we just you know did the kitty cat i like to use this uh, product here it helps with razor bomb solution now even though i use this product i prefer the pfb which is much better after that i'm gonna go ahead and steam my face this is a nano steamer that i bought from amazon us for my birthday a year ago i think it was the last birthday so it comes with an extraction kit it also comes with a pouring cup right here and i'll go ahead and link it down below so if you're interested in buying this it's a lot cheaper than when i actually bought it ignore all the things on my table these are my skincare products which i'm going to be using later and one of the cool things i love with this is that it comes with a towel warmer it's a humidifier as well as a facial steamer so i added a towel inside the area that you saw there and i'm going to steam my face and while i'm steaming my face my towel is being warmed so that is a great feature of this product here i don't use it at, as often as i should but today i decided to whip her out and give my face a well-deserved steam As you guys can see, I'm done steaming my face and I'm going in with my warm towel now. And what this does is it opens the pores and makes the skin more susceptible to absorbing the products. I have very oily skin and I like to use this product from the ordinary long the under eyes only because I suffer from pores. My pores are easily clogged. Like I said, I'm oily. And I think it's partially because I wear sunscreen. I tend to have clogged pores easily in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead with this and apply it for a 10 minutes and vibe out in the meantime. While I wait, I'm going to go ahead and finish preparing dinner. So this is something that I've been enjoying a lot lately. So this is basically some minced chicken with some barbecue sauce, some paprika, as well as black pepper and onion and garlic powder. I'm boiling some water to make some tea and I'm going to serve this up with some air fried sweet potato. So all I did basically was to wash my sweet potato and punch some whole in it using my fork and put it in the air fryer at 200 degrees celsius for 50 minutes and baby when i tell you this combo right here is bomb it is bomb once the 10 minutes is up and i'm done eating i go in and wash this off my face and then we're going to jump right into my skin routine so if you guys watch my video this was like maybe in february of la of this year actually i showed you guys some of the products that i use so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys step by step my evening routine when it comes on to clearing up my skin or maintaining as best as possible so the toner i showed you is from a k-beauty line and most of the products that i use are actually from 
Korea Skin Beauty. I buy them from iHerb. I will leave a link to everything in the description box below. Then next, I like to go in with my Paula's Choice. This is not K-Beauty, but this is one of those brands I highly recommend that you gravitate towards if you're looking for a good brand when it comes on to your skin so this is basically a spot treatment so i even though i don't break out i still do have a lot of scars not a lot but i do have some scars that are kind of bugging me so this is a benzoyl peroxide treatment that i like to use just so that i can try to minimize any future breakout as well as manage the current spots that i have So after massaging that into my skin, I like to go in with this product here. It says that it helps with man managing pores and not only that removing oil from the skin. Like I've said to you guys, I'm an oily girl. So anything that says that it helps to minimize or manage oil, I'm going to gravitate towards that. And I don't know about any of you guys, but for me, skincare is like, it's therapy. It's so cathartic to me. I love massaging the products into my skin it just feels amazing i enjoy it don't forget to get your neck as well you'll see that i i try not to forget my neck i like to massage it into my neck as well because baby we're gonna make sure that we get value for our money Next, I'm going to go in with a very highly rated product. It is considered one of the holy grails of skincare. And this is the Snail Mucin. I've had this since February. This is how long this product has lasted me. And I really, really love how this product makes my skin feel. It makes your skin feel so good. And one of the claims that the product makes is that it soothes your skin. It's also great for fighting acne and it's a great anti-aging serum as well highly highly recommend it's great for all skin type but i will say that for me as an oily girl because i look extremely shiny when i ha add this to my skin routine i like to use it in the evening time but feel free to use it in the morning as well Next, I'm going to go in with this Clears Serum right here. I really, really love this. The packaging on the box says simple but enough. And this is something I agree with. This product, when I take it out, I usually do one to two drops. That's clearly more than that. <laughs> I like to go in and just rub it in my the palms of my hand. And I like to warm it up. Guys, I'm watching something on TV. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I was watching. But uh, clearly I was engrossed in what's happening. Anyways, I love rubbing this into my skin. It just feels so warm. It feels relaxing. And like I said, skincare for me these days is not only luxury. It's it's just it just feels good it just makes you feel really good whatever excess product i have i like to massage it into my skin and that's all for my skincare going in with some zara gourmand addict i don't know about anyone but i love perfumes in the house and that is it guys that is all thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one until then bye